So I'm on my way to the gym, or I'm actually at the gym. Um, <laughs> for the first time in four days. Um, and surprisingly, I'm okay with that. I don't feel guilty or bad that I've missed a couple days. Um, sometimes you just need it. And um, I went shooting with my in-laws a couple days ago. And um, as you know, when you shoot, at least if you're doing rifles and things and shotguns, um, the kick back from the gun, you know, can make your bicep and shoulder pretty sore. And so that happened and it's the same shoulder that I've injured before. So I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna do upper body for a few days. And I had done legs the day before and I was in no hurry to go back to that. <clears throat> so I was like, I'm just gonna take a couple days off. So I did. So um, back here today though, I'm just gonna do a full body and you know, loosen everything back up here. Um, it's so nice not feeling like the pressure, you know, um, under the gun. Um, I love being on prep and feeling motivated and having a goal. Um, and I still have a goal now, but I'm just saying, you know, um, you can be exhausted and, and just not up to it and you have to push through it. And it's nice having, um, the luxury not to have to do that. <laughs> um, trying to get through a gallon today. There's bottle number one. I don't know if you can see, but woohoo! That's all I drank, and it is 10 o'clock, and I gotta get through three of those. Um, I don't know. I've just been replacing water for coffee the last couple days um, with not going to the gym. Um, I'm at home, and I just don't stay on top of it like I should. I think the most I've gotten down in the last couple days was like a half gallon a day. So not good. And I can tell the difference. Um, so I gotta amp it back up today. Um, it's just hard for me. When I'm working out and stuff, I'll, I'll guzzle down, you know, at least a half gallon just during my workout. So then it's pretty easy. But um, I really notice a difference with my skin complexion and how I'm feeling. Uh, it also helps with hunger. Um, I eat more if I'm not drinking enough water. So um, that's a little tip for you guys. I don't know if you're a big water drinker, but try just putting down at least a gallon of water a day. And within a week, you'll notice a huge difference. Um, it helps you clear out all that sludge. Your skin complexion will be a lot better. I used to have really bad acne for years, even as an adult. And when I started downing a water a day, the acne just went away. So big helpful for that. Accutane, Retin-A, knocking out certain foods, all that stuff. What helped was drinking a gallon of water a day. So, um, I'm not looking forward to going in here. It's Sunday, it's 10 o'clock, which means it's gonna be busy, busy, busy. So, I hate when it's busy at the gym. Um, so I guess that's one good thing about doing a full body is I can kind of just pick and choose my, my machines and my exercises today rather than waiting in line uh, for something to open up here so that's good um let's see 67 degrees this morning it's finally getting a little bit tidbit nipply in the mornings and at nights here which it's still hitting mid 80s in the middle of the day so the middle of the day is still hot but at least in the morning if you want to throw on like a nice little light jacket or a beanie or sit outside at night and snuggle up with a blanket. It's getting to be that weather and it makes me so happy. I just realized I forgot my headphones. That is really, really frustrating. Man. I don't know about you, but that makes all the difference. Like, I won't do cardio if I don't have my headphones. Sitting in the sauna sucks without headphones because it's just like hearing crickets chirp. Everybody's just sitting in there quiet and you're just counting the minutes and you're getting freaking hot and there's nothing to pass the time. It's like hearing a little drip out of the faucet, you know, and it's driving you crazy. <sighs> Man, that sucks. Ah, oh, well, what do you do? So on that note, 
I think I'm gonna go. Oh, this shirt's not so bad, but um, I thought I'd touch on this subject because my husband just said this to me the other day that it really bothers him that <laughs> my clothes are like wrinkle mated all the time for the gym. And my response to that is, who the heck cares? Because I don't. Do you guys care? Like, I, I mean, I care about like matching. Like I do my best to match. But if my clothes are have a few wrinkles in them for the gym, like who cares? They're, I'm going to be covered in sweat within 10 minutes of being in there. And so that's going to take the wrinkles out. Or they're, my clothes are going to be clinging to me. So what's the big deal? Like, I don't understand. I mean... My leggings are always good because those are tight, so even if they had wrinkles, you wouldn't know. But my tank tops, like a lot of them just have like a little string in the back or something, and they're like really hard to fold. It's like, how do you, how do you do that? So trying to fold, you know, thong underwear, like there's just no point. And so I'll do my best and fold them all in the drawer, but by the time I pull something that's like three down in the pile, like they all topple over. So my drawer looks like, you know, a dirty laundry pile or something. Like it's just like they're shoved in there. And I pull one out and I go to the gym and I don't care. Like I don't see the point of having to have nicely pressed shirts. If you do, you got problems. Like prioritize your life. That's all I gotta say. You hear? All right guys, have a good one. Don't forget to <laughs> like and subscribe. I got in trouble for not saying that last time. So apparently I gotta like get on the ball and remember to say don't forget to like and subscribe. So don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? <laughs> Alright, have a happy Thanksgiving. Till next time. Bye!